Welcome back my dear student teachers to the course Knowledge and Curriculum. We are in the third unit Curriculum Development in Education. The first module talks about understanding the learner needs and understanding learner needs and characteristics. This is Dr. V. Girija, Professor and Head of the Department of School of Education, Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. The prerequisite knowledge which every student teacher must acquire before proceeding into the module is an understanding of education principles, familiarity with the learning uh, theories is a prerequisite to proceed with the modules. And the objective of this module is to make the students acquire the skills and knowledge that are needed to design effective educational programs. Now let us move on to the module. Let us look into what are the essentials before developing curriculum. Curriculum development is a systematic process involving the creation, design, implementation and evaluation of education programs and courses. It aims to provide a structured and purposeful framework for teaching and learning. Need assessment. Identify the educational needs of students, taking into account their backgrounds, abilities and future requirements. Analyze existing curricula and gather input from stakeholders, including teachers, students, parents and employers. The second essential in developing a curriculum is defining the learning objectives. Clearly articulate what students are expected to know and be able to do. Aligning learning objectives with educational standards and goals is an important part to consider while developing curriculum. The third important part is content selection and organization. Choosing relevant and uh, age appropriate content that aligns with the learning objectives is important. Organizing the content in a logical and sequential manner to facilitate understanding and mastery. The fourth important uh, essential to look into before developing a curriculum is to looking into the pedagogical strategies. Determine effective instructional methods and approaches and consider diverse learning styles and incorporate engaging teaching strategies. Now let us move on to assessment and evaluation. Developing assessments that measure student achievement of learning objectives and establishing both formative and summative methods, evaluation methods to provide ongoing feedback is essential. Resource selection. Choosing appropriate textbooks, materials and technology tools are very much essential and the, uh, I mean, the curriculum developers must definitely ensure the resources that are accessible and support the curriculum goals. Integration of technology is which has been advocated in NAP 2020. So, uh, uh, the curriculum developers must definitely give much importance in integrating technology in the, develop, in the curriculum that they develop for their future students. Incorporate relevant technology to enhance learning experiences and consider how digital tools can facilitate understanding and engagement. Flexibility and adaptability. Design a curriculum that can adapt to the evolving needs of students and changes in educational trends. Allow for adjustments based on ongoing assessment and feedback. Stakeholders involvement. Collaborate with educators, administrators, parents and community members and soliciting input and feedback to ensure the curriculum meets the needs of diverse stakeholders. Cultural sensitivity is very important. Recognizing and respecting cultural diversity is very important. And developing the curriculum materials that are inclusive and relevant to your diverse student needs. And while implement, uh, implementation planning, creating a detailed plan for how the curriculum will be introduced and implemented and providing training and support for educators to effectively implement the curriculum. And it is not enough the curriculum developers concentrating on various other uh, factors and essentials but they should also ensure after Im uh, implementing the planning um, implementing the curriculum planning they love to monitor and evaluation 
the it is most important regular as access to uh, access to effectiveness the effectiveness of curriculum and gather data on student performance and use it to make informed decisions about decision making and for curriculum development it is not enough they simply implement planning and monitoring evaluation the curriculum development doesn't stop there it continues it has to continuously strive on whether the curriculum is working properly like how they they have to look into all these essentials also like uh, looking into the continuous improvement like embrace a cycle of continuous improvement regularly review and update the curriculum based on feedback assessment and engage and emerging educational research and alignment with educational policies it is very important ensure that the curriculum aligns with local regional and national educational policies and standards and they must stay informed about any policy changes that may impact the curriculum design and last but not the least the a very important essential of any curriculum developer is to consider the ethical considerations upholding ethical standards in curriculum development is should be given much priority prioritize equity diversity and the well-being of the students in essence curriculum development is a dynamic and purposeful process that seeks to create a meaningful and create effective education experience for learners it involves careful planning collaboration and ongoing assessment to ensure that education goals are met and that students are well prepared for future challenges understanding the learners needs and characteristics understanding learners needs and characteristics is crucial in curriculum development tailoring curriculum to students abilities interests and learning styles enhances engagement and promotes more effective learning outcomes understanding learner needs and characteristics in detail involves diverse learning styles recognizing that students have varied learning preferences such as visual auditory and kinesthetic designing the activities designing the activities and materials that cater to different learning styles to ensure inclusivity prior knowledge and experience is very important assessing what students already know and building upon their prior knowledge linking new concepts to familiar experiences to facilitate better understanding cognitive development considering students uh, cognitive abilities at different stages of development adapting uh, content and teaching methods to align with age appropriate cognitive levels and interests and motivation identifying students uh, interests and incorporating relevant engaging content and connecting the curriculum to real world applications to enhance motivation cultural and socio economic factors acknowledging the cultural diversity within the classroom ensuring the curriculum materials are culturally sensitive and accessible to students from various socio economic backgrounds we love to look into the individual differences of the students while developing the curriculum which is most essential recognizing that students have unique strengths challenges and pace of learning providing opportunities for differentiated instruction to meet individual needs and last but i mean uh, the very important things which we shouldn't miss is uh, for the 21st century learners is technology integration acknowledging the role of technology in students life and incorporating digital tools and resources to enhance learning experiences feedback mechanisms establishing effective feedbacks uh, feedback loops to understand students are responding to the curriculum using formative adjust, assessment to adjustment strategies based on ongoing student performance collaboration and communication encouraging communication between educators students and parents considering input from stakeholders to ensure uh, the curriculum aligns with broader educational goals flexibility and adaptability recognizing that learners needs may evolve may evolve over time being flexible and willing to adapt the curriculum to address emerging educational trends and changing students requirements a detailed understanding of learner needs and characteristics allow educators to create a curriculum that is responsive inclusive and effective in promoting meaningful learning experiences for all students about curriculum 
with elementary education becoming universal more efforts will be put to provide quality secondary education parent education vocational education and teacher education intensive efforts will be made to provide educational opportunities through distance education using information and communication technologies students evaluation will become more formative and flexible curriculum will have a provision to offer cafeteria approach school curriculum will not unnecessarily load students at the same time it will it will have comparative international standard and promote critical and independent thinking pre primary education and early childhood education will become an important element of school education supported through public funds preservation protection and modification of indigenous knowledge and composite culture will become an important objective of education strategies identified to achieve the priorities strategies identified to achieve the above areas also have been specified which gives some insights to curriculum developers uh, developers they are as follows like networking school level resource institutions building strong educational information and management system and making available parent education programs round the clock and many more and now let us look into uh, all these aspects one by one this strategy is based on the assumptions that resources are always inadequate and widely distributed it is by their proper mobilization that they can put them together and make a critical mass building strong educational information management system this action area is based on the assumption that in the existing situation most of the actions are taken on the basis of personal liking and disliking and personal preferences or the on the lunch on the hunches if decisions are made on the basis of information available they would be more objective thus developing a management information system is the first prerequisite making available parent education programs around the clock the action area is based on the assumption that parents want to increase their awareness about various educational matters if appropriate education awareness programs are telecasted and made available to the general public especially parents it will be it will help them to become better productive members of the society offering special programs for gifted and talented students it is known to everyone that the real treasure of a country is its youth and especially youth who are gifted and talented any country which does not nurture the giftedness and the talent of its youth can never dream of becoming a progressive uh, and forward looking society special programs for girl education providing girls education and ensuring their fulfillment should be the educational objective to be attained by 2020 education of scheduled castes scheduled tribes and other disadvantaged disadvantaged groups for achieving cohesive and productive uh, society special programs have to be launched for the scheduled castes scheduled tribes and other disadvantaged groups special programs for countries which have uh, indian origin population countries like usa canada south africa uk australia caribbean islands have large population of indian origin so inclusive education for special needs students by 2020 attempts will be made to offer integration education on comprehensive basis for physically and mentally handicapped children providing and promoting indigenous knowledge in the knowledge society communities will assess education as utility as per their own norms curriculum review revision and development school level resource institutions like national council for educational research and training state council of education research and training central institute of education technology etc as well as unity universities will have to develop a mechanism for curriculum review division and development both at schools and university level which should expose students to latest global developments as well as to indigenous knowledge curriculum will pay attention to indigenous tradition and enormous amount of wisdom and experience that has been drawn from various regions and sections of the indian society in knowledge relating to ayurveda herbal treatment massage therapy achievements in psychology mental health logic epistemology jurisprudence 
pedagogy, etc. Curriculum will also offer fast track and front line curriculum in areas such as information technology, biotechnology, etc. Curriculum will emphasize value education, meditation and importance of silence. It will gradually build in students higher levels of awareness from, uh, from animality to humanity to rationality to civility and to divinity. Curriculum should make students aware of posit positive and critical thinking and the harms of negativity and negative thinking. Curriculum will be so designed that it will not load students neither with the physical load nor with the load of non-comprehension and irrelevance. Curriculum will stress on joyful learning, functional science and functional mathematics. It will not unmindfully reject memorization. A mechanism will be evolved to ensure that school, college and university curriculum as well as the curriculum of teacher education gets reviewed, revised and updated every five years. It may also be stressed that curriculum in school education provides enough stress and importance to computer education, information and communication technologies and other frontline curriculum. It should also be stressed that distance education and open system, open learning systems are optimally used. Computer education will be introduced in a phased manner. Facilities of internet and website are made available in schools and multimedia packages, CD-ROMs, learning apps, portals and hypertext need to be developed and made available in the library and students and for the students. Curriculum development is a systematic process involving creation, design, implementation and evaluation of educational goals and courses. It aims to provide a structured and purposeful framework for teaching and learning. 